Hello everyone, welcome back to Laravel and Vue.js full stack development. So in this tutorial, I'm going to uh, set up the admin menu uh, and a page. I thought I should um, show you. Uh, initially, I thought I uh, do not uh, show you. Instead, I actually uh, set up myself and then give you the links. But then I thought, okay, this will be maybe important for you guys because you might be uh, needing to set up your own templates your own admin system whatever so you need to know how to do this setup okay so let's take uh, this menu uh, from uh, this project so it uh, this project has this menu and we should be uh, we should be pasting these things and it has a router view as well so let's take this code in our project and here Okay, so we will have a menu as well now. Perfect. So we have a menu and we can see some error icon. So we have to install um, the project. So let's see what uh, plugin this one is using. Main.js. So we can see it is using a lot of plugins, including charts, future ticks. And mostly, I think we need this one. So it has changed. Uh, this one is using the old version of iView. So we should install iView right from their website. Okay, let's uh, open a new console. Sorry, new terminal. My network a little bit slow at the moment. Okay, so we will install it like this and then we will see their quick start guide you can see we can we have to do this uh, these two things actually so in our project entry point app.js we have to use them so we do not need to use the view router we already have that Perfect, so our project is installed and also the iView as well. So iView should be available now. As you can see, the error has gone now. Perfect, now let's have a page now and let's name it as um, home page. And let's have a home page here. Home view. Perfect. So we have a home here, and let's make a new route here. And it should be the this one. Okay, perfect. So this is home. Okay, we cannot see just because might be it is uh, hiding somewhere. So let's take a page from them, from this project. So let's see what they do have. Okay, they have this page. So let's take all this code from here and paste it our project. I hope we see something now. Perfect, we see their project uh, is available right away. Okay, let's do some changes here. Instead of using container, we should use some container block. So the container fluid actually, it looks much better. Perfect, so we should use container fluid. Perfect, so we do have this one. And this menu color by default is really not, not readable at the moment, so let's change the color of it a little bit hmm. okay this color is getting overridden by something else so let's make it important perfect so 
you remember where we should change it says all.css but actually we cannot use that in all.css because all.css always get updated so we have to do that in our main.css and we have to do this here, do this here. perfect so we have it here now uh, let's say what error we are having here so it's not uh, finding the uh, icon used in the static version in this uh, in this project so let's forget it for now okay so uh, this one we can say that overview how many blogs post blah 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 we have uh, do we have the static uh, statistics so here we can uh, start setting up our um, Laravel project so in that case we will start with uh, category and tag so first of all since uh, tag is easy let's start with tag let's keep this page as it is and here in the menu section let's have a tag we will uh, start with the easiest one right at the moment here and let's actually keep those routes at the bottom okay here let's say it's called tag tags and here we can say as well the product pages and we don't have any component at the moment so let's have a component and rightly so we will have the similar structure let's copy the code from here uh, not here actually let's from, let copy the code from our home page okay so we'll actually copy that uh, all these things and we don't need this uh, first row because first row is the statistics and we don't really need that all we need the table and if we visit the tags we should see this one okay so perfect but we need to uh, link it so in our mainnet let's make the router mm, it, it says overview that's okay uh, one li item let's make a new one and we can call it actually dashboard and we can call it text and here uh, let's see if we have it now we have text we can change the icon um, here we should have router link placed instead of a since we will not have an a tag here so instead of a we should have this one and remove a perfect so the same thing goes for this one as well dashboard okay i think i did not copy correctly perfect so we have two menu item at the moment and let's check if uh, the work so we have to link them this one will go to uh, index page and this one will go to the text page so we have this route defined here uh, this one says tags and slash so we are actually referencing uh, to that page and so router link is actually the a tag okay and as you can see uh, here you can see the routing is to, uh, happening okay so it's working perfect so here in action uh, let's go to tags and yeah one more thing is that we should make our uh, uh, one is colored like that you see the h1 and you can see the uh, one of the important things is that if you if this is selected I mean if you are in the same page it will change 
their classes. The classes is gone. Now class has been uh, changed to router link exact active. So it's available right up there. Right here. So we should change. Uh, okay, let's see what design we have in their menu so that we can have our active. Okay, this uh, active class is uh, not available here. Mm. Let's check their uh, current version. Okay, it's not available. So let's make one for ourselves. Okay, this is really ugly background. Um, let's change it to something very similar color. Perfect. And color to Okay, let's change first this one. So how do we change that? So we change it to router link exact active. So this class, we need to go to the main.css file. You can do anywhere you want. So let's see if we have any active class here. Okay, I think we do have these colors uh, here. So let's see. Okay, this is this important one is getting overridden. Mm. Okay, so we used uh, active already so that is the reason why it's uh, it's not making the color okay that's okay no problem we can leave without that and let's make the background something let's make it green we will change it uh, okay never mind for this ugly color we shall change it to something like this uh, not bad. <laughs> I'm not a CSS coder, but I hope this works as well. Perfect. Yeah, so the active class is changing. Perfect. So here, uh, in from the next video onward, we will start the crude application, uh, the developing the real application with the Laravel. Uh, from my next video so this up to this video uh, we, we have set up our admin panel and also the basic routing so from next video we will just uh, do crude operations that's all thank you for watching if you have not subscribed please subscribe my channel share my channel and yeah destroy that like button uh, so that we can get more motivation for making cool videos okay if you face any problem go our Facebook group post your question I will try to answer as soon as I find some time Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.